spam, the stuff of jokes, wartime memories, and here in South Korea, a low-key national love affair. Since spam was launched in America before the Second World War, more than 7 billion of these chunky little cans have rolled off production lines. South Koreans are now the biggest consumers of it, outside the U.S. There's classic spam, mild spam, bacon spam, garlic spam. If you've got spam, the slogan on the can proclaims, you've got it all. So not for these cans a dusty shelf at the back of the store. Spam and its homegrown competitors are prime gifts for South Koreans' lunar Thanksgiving holiday. The black label hamper will set you back $75. Spam is now so much a part of South Korea's food culture, it forms the staple ingredient in one of the country's favorite dishes, bude jjigae, or army stew. All these restaurants here specialize in it. In fact, this street is famous for it because it's just around the corner from a U.S. military base. Ho Gi Suk claims to have invented army stew back in 1954 when someone brought her smuggled spam, sausages and bacon from the local army base. Mrs. Ho made them into a spicy soup. Back then there wasn't a lot to eat, but I acquired some ham and sausages. The only way to get meat in those days was to smuggle it from the army base. We had to make do with whatever the soldiers had left over. We'd make a stew with whatever came out of the base, and my recipe was copied and spread throughout Korea. Army stew is now well established as part of South Korea's culinary landscape, as traditional as spam gift sets for Thanksgiving. It's salty and greasy and goes very well with the spices, one customer told me. Korean soup and American ham, it's the perfect fusion food. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, South Korea.